Hello friends, welcome to SG Tutorials. We are going to start today a brand new subject of HMIS, that is Hospital Management Information System. Before we start with the whole subject, we first need to know what actually is Hospital Management Information System. So let us start with the introduction of Hospital Management Information System. So we will understand this concept with the help of small example as well. If you go to any of the hospital, you will find that the information being maintained in the hospital is either in an electronic form or in a written form. As you can see, earlier time the records were handwritten. So the registers, the papers and all the handwritten work on the paper that you see was actually initially started in hospital management. Later on, after handwritten, we came into computer. So during 1960s, computer came into existence and we all started using computer based records. But the computer based records more or less were consisting of Word or Excel. If we had numbers, we used in Excel. If we had Word, if we have written information, we used it in Word. So Word and Excel was popularly used in computer based system. But the disadvantage of computer based system initially was that the information could not be shared with any other personnel in the hospital without actually physically taking that information into a pen drive or emailing it to a particular person. If we didn't do that, we wanted the information to be shared in the hospital itself. So we needed an integrated information management system. And that first integrated information management system was EHR. So what you see today in hospitals is actually an evolved form of computer based system as well as the handwritten system. So from handwritten to computer based to EHR was a small evolution of hospital management information system. But EHR had its limit. It was a software where electronic health records were been maintained. But electronic health records was again not sufficient to run a hospital. The administrators, the trustees, the governing boards as well as the government uh, recognized that EHR alone cannot be an effective medium. So what was added in EHR was the management information system that is MIS. So now EHR consisted of a lot of other uh, things as well. The first one was finances, the second one was all the management related informations which was the HR, payrolls, then we had many other information which was integrated into the hospital information system and that is why it was called as hospital information system which was eventually been evaluated into hospital management information system. Hospital management information system could also be called as ERP that is enterprise resource planning. So in enterprise resource planning what happens is if you have multiple locations where you have your hospitals you can integrate all of them through cloud computing or maybe through LAN if they are located very in the very close vicinity. So this ERP system allowed individuals to maintain privacy and this privacy was brought into effect by one of the act which is called as HIPAA act which we will learn later on. So we will just take a recap of what is hospital management information system. So hospital management information system could be called as hospital information as well as the integration of IT into that system. So that is called as hospital management information system. It started from handwritten, went on to computer based went on to EHR which only had electronic health records and not the management information system. After EHR it went on to HIS which had information system of various patients as well as management related issues and HIS it went to HMIS or it could be called as ERP if you are controlling it at various locations. So that's it for today. If you have any questions comment below. Hit the like button if you like it and subscribe to my channel to get all the latest videos later on. Till that time, goodbye.